Why do you always ride your bike on the sidewalk? Safety is the most important thing, little dude. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Have fun at Lauren's. Why do you ride your bike on the sidewalk? It creates this pat-a-pat rhythm and sounds like a horse scalping. <laughs> What do you think we should do on our day off? If we were smart, we'd study for the NJ question. Today it's the sixth graders, but next week it will be us. Darn skis. Alright, no bad ideas in brainstorming. Thank you, Anne. But uh, let's think of a better idea than a nice horrible one. What is James doing? Pete! What? The name on this cup is Pete, but not just this one. There's seven of them, and they're all scattered around the playground. As far as crimes go, this is the right one. What's a cool crime? I don't know, like black collar crimes. What? That's not a thing. Well, it should be. Like, white collar crimes. Everything that rich people do, and blue collar crimes, everything that poor people do. So, what about the things you do at night? Like, Egging people's houses or ruining people on the highway. Like you wear black for those things, so black collar crime. You've never done either of those things. Don't you know words for things you haven't done? Morning, ladies. Hi, Eric. What are you doing here? I'm taking a shortcut to Jim's house. I'm gonna show him something pretty impressive. Go on, then. Well, if you must know, I got my first chest hair. Ew. So? So, I'm going through a little phase called puberty. Ever hear of it? Join the club. I wouldn't expect you to be impressed, Miss Double Ds. Wow. Dude, you ladies are so sensitive. You seem pretty sensitive after the last algebra test. Is it fair to say you were getting some Double Ds? Oh yeah, don't you want to go to Dartmouth like your dad? If you fail sixth grade algebra, then you're not going to get into honors geometry in high school. No honors geometry, no AP. No AP, no Dartmouth. Well, I've got that all under control. Why are you guys even here? Peeing at my sister after the test. Well, enjoy your babysitting. So how do you little pathetic chest hair for us? Here comes Drew. Hey, James. How'd it go? Fine. Last chance. Does anyone want to grab our books to get some studying done tonight? You can get your books if you want. They're already at home. Oh, well, we are just too forgetful, and we left our books at school, which probably means our branch is too fried to study anyway. Do you guys realize there's still a mystery to be solved? Do you have a Pete or a Peter in your grade? Yeah, why? Does he drink coffee? I'm in sixth grade. No one drinks coffee. Everyone in America drinks Starbucks. Have you seen anybody litter here during recess or something? Yeah. No, but to be honest, most of my attention is on Foursquare. But what about the time when you're not playing? You gotta scope out the competition. I respect drive when I see it. Do you see anybody around here with Starbucks during recess? I DK. Does nobody DK? K. What? It would be K, like, no. You said, does nobody don't know. That's a double negative. So does my point across. Ooh, it's not proper English. Double negative? <laughs> Looks like James is the new smart one in the group. It's not correct. Is there a teacher with the name Pete or Peter? No, oh, she's on her own. Mr. Steuben, his first name's Peter. Mr. Steuben? Why would he litter his own school? Maybe he's got a mental problem. With Starbucks? He was there when I took the test. He might still be there. Let's go. How are we supposed to catch this Pete guy? If we really want to catch him, we need to create a stakeout. I like the sound of a stakeout. I want to go home! Drew, this is your future we're protecting, kid. How? You're going to have to play in this playground for the next two years. Do you want to make your four square lines with straws and have to use a used sugar packet for a ball? No. Exactly. Settle in. You just had that? My mom made me bring it for her. This is warm. Well, we're hot on the trail for this litter bug, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> nice one. Thanks, dude. We should hide in the bushes. 
I thought I'd get this side of the wall. <laughs> Incidentally, watching one episode of Breaking Bad on an airplane doesn't make you a rebel. <laughs> it was two and a half episodes, and you don't even know what you're talking about. I found a mood ring. How are you feeling? I don't know. I don't have the guy that goes with it. Well, it says you're pink, so it means you're crazy. Why? Well, my grandpa calls people who are crazy pinko. Drew, are you okay? Did you DVR Bruce's of Waverly Place? Yeah. Are you sure? Drew, I did it. Okay, then I got time. Now we play the waiting game. Battle line from Breaking Bad. Oh, shut up. Someone should get us food. Two people should go to Dolphin. No, this is... Fine. James, you hardly ate anything. Can I have your sweet potato? No, she has to eat it. I'm not hungry. Drew, it's time for you to go to bed. It's Friday night. Friday night, the lights down. Friday night lights, Friday night lights. You can watch TV in my bed. Fine. Are you sick? No, but I will be in the morning. What do you mean? Please call me pregnant. Sweetheart. James, at your age, girls' bodies are changing. You're in flux. But it's temporary, and it's perfectly natural. I don't understand how it happened. No. Me neither. Time goes so fast. But listen to me. You can't starve yourself. You have to eat. For two. What? I just told you. I don't understand. A boy at school whose dad's a doctor called me pregnant. And Anne found out in a biology textbook that some species can have kids without two parents. What? Whoa. Slow down. And then, this man was like, oh, these girls are getting themselves pregnant. What? And then this guy called me mama. James, do you think you can get yourself pregnant without any help? That's impossible. You did it? That was different. I had a donor. Are you sure? I am absolutely certain there is no way for a woman to get pregnant without any help. And that you are not pregnant. That must have been scary. Yeah. Was being pregnantly fun? Honestly? It was horrible. You kicked all the time. You never stopped moving. Oh my god. But it was cute. You're a fighter, James if they Pow. <laughs> you should go upstairs and watch TV with Drew. She's probably watching some dumb TV show. She's only two years younger than you. That's a lot in kids' years. Don't I know it? So, oh, how was college? Yeah. It's weird not seeing your face in a Skype window. Don't act like you're not watching the tiny box with your face in it the entire time we're Skyping. You only know that because you do the same thing. Did you miss us? I did. Until I walked in the front door and Mom started immediately grilling Izzy. Why? Is because she's a theater major? A theater major? Stop! Well, I mean, it's cool if you want to date someone dumber than you. Wow. You know what's also cool when you shut the heck up? In fact, I think it's when you sound the smartest. Hey, just go easy on Izzy. She's having a hard enough time with Mom as it is. And? Say something? Oh, I can't. I don't want to sound stupid. No, I was just kidding. Hey. I really did miss you. We're home. Hey, sweetie, welcome home. Hi, I've heard so much about you. Cool hair. Thanks. Yeah. She's 
It's also got this super cool tattoo of the Arabic word for purity on her ankle. Oh, well, thanks. Actually, it's valor. All right, because purity would have been too ironic. Oh, I have to go do some laundry. Can I help at all? That's all right, sweetheart. I got it. Can I see your tattoo? Sure. Telling mom. You have a tattoo in Elvish? Yeah, I mean, I know it seems a little weird, but. No, that's that's awesome. Who's your favorite pairing? Pairing? She means relationship. Oh, well, I've always thought Legolas and Iowa would be a cute couple. Oh. Well, no one's perfect. What? Uh, did Andrew ever tell you that he and I used to make duct tape swords? <laughs> no. Yeah, he'd be Aragorn, I'd be Gimli. Aragorn? This was a long time ago. I think they were in the garage if you want me to show you. Oh, we don't have to. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs>